guys, oh my goodness. I have not done one of these, probably, I think I've only actually ever done one before. I just don't go to weddings often. But now my cousins are getting older, wedding guest season is upon us, and I feel like a lot more people in my life are actually getting married, but today I am a wedding guest at my cousin's wedding so i thought why not film a wedding guest get ready with me i'm currently in northern ireland i'm currently in where am i like port Srush, something like that so you can hear like the seagulls in the background it's because the window is open my view right now is literally like insane let me show you i'm fully just on the coast it's absolutely stunning so i've kicked my parents out of their room because this was their room and i thought i'm gonna get ready with you uh for this wedding because it's wedding guest season for a lot of people um i'm gonna include hair outfit and makeup if it seems a little bit rushed um it's because i don't i'm like i'm not allowed to be late uh filming this but first things first that i have done is use a little bit of instant tan and i just thought i would show you which one it is that i have used the barley body one the spray i find like that one transfers the least it's a really nice color this is the medium to dark it's like airbrush that kind of vibes and i have absolutely no idea if this still exists but this product is so nice it's the patrick tar Oh my god, it says for face. Okay, well, I use it on my body. Uh, the We Love Her Pink Pearl. It's just, it gives like, I don't know, if I like, like, you can see it sort of right there. Like, I don't know, just like a, a, a sheen, a glow to the skin. Um, but I am going to start with my hair, so that's just up and out of the way. I've, I've got like a fan on as well, because I'm a little bit like stressed, a little bit warm. So your girl needs to cool down. Sorry, I feel like I'm literally going 100 miles an hour. It's because I can't be late. Um, I have like 50 minutes. We're all good. Um, but for my hair today, I'm going to do that side bun. But I really want the curls to be like, well, the bun to be like super tousled and like big curls, if that makes sense. So I am going to curl my whole head, even though my hair is going to be going up um but that's just because i i i, I want that like big voluminous like curled vibe and I, and I think i want my hair up i'm saying that like i'm just venting and speaking out loud to you guys i'm pretty sure i want my hair up for the dresses that i have i've got two options as well so you guys can help me pick because i actually don't know it's quite like a casual wedding in the sense of they're just quite casual people. But I never know if that then means like, do I have to be casual? They've not like said a dress code or anything, but from what my like family's wearing, they're kind of going like a low key type vibe. And one of mine is definitely more low key type vibes. Then the other one's a little bit more flattering on me. So I don't know. Anyway. For my hair, I'm gonna be using the Beauty Works Molly May Volume 2 kit. This like bigger barrel is perfect if you want those like retro looking waves, gorgeous for like a wedding guest. Um, I'm just using the Beauty Works heat protectant as well. Spritz that on my hair. I feel like with heat protectant, you are meant to do it when your hair is wet, but I don't wanna get time for that today. I also really love the, um, Beauty works like that 10 in 1 spray, that's a heat protectant as well. That I always spray on my hair like right after a shower because it just leaves your hair so freaking so it's got it's a 10 in 1 thing. So not only is it heat protectant, it's like anti-frizz and smoothing and yeah, heat protectant and stuff. So I always make sure I do that after my shower. But yeah, I haven't used this wand in a while, but I thought today, let me just turn this way. This is gonna be perfect for the like tossly waves as well and i want the i'm gonna like leave a bit out for my fringe and i want that to be like a big loose curl i just want hair that i don't need to like faff about with you know and a tip if you've got really long hair i don't curl mine all the way to the ends i leave like a big gap um a hairstylist taught me this it just gives that more kardashian curl vibe like they don't curl their hair all the way to the very end. And sometimes when I was doing that, I hadn't realized that that's what I wasn't liking about my hair. Like I was like, why does it look like too curled? It's because if you leave like a big bit like that, it just, I don't know if you can see, like having the, like the straight bit at the bottom, I personally really love that. So I always 
make sure to leave a bit. Especially if you've got like these long extensions in. I've got the Beauty Works like 26, 28 in busy tapes in. So sometimes barrels like this, if you try and get like a whole curl on it, doesn't work. And it just looks like really cramped at the end. Do you know what I mean? So that's a little tip. Don't feel the need to curl all the way to the end. You can just see like that curl. That's the kind of loose curl that I want. And this, the Molly May Volume 2 Curl Kit is, doing, is gonna do that for me. So let me just keep going with this. Um, by the way, I know you guys know I work with Beauty Works and I am working with them on this little part of the video, but I have a code with Beauty Works, Rach BW gets you 15% off site-wide, including all of the Molly May stuff. Um, so if you guys want to haven't checked out the curling ones or any of her stuff or just like any stuff on the website like I feel like I talk about their products a lot as well um, like their styling products heat protectant the 10 in 1 spray uh, check it out and you can use Rach BW for 15% off yeah I'm just gonna keep on going with these literally you can see just like the most perfect loose waves and that's what I'm going for when I then tie it up and it's in a tousled bun so I'm just going to go ahead and curl the rest of my hair and then I can show you like how we're going to style these curls okay so this is like all the hair curled you can see it's just such a like loose beachy wave I love this and I'm actually not going to brush it out just because I want to keep the curl pretty much like this, you know, but what I am going to do is brush my fringe over like that. I want like about this much fringe. I'm going to clip that there and then it's all just about brushing it up and out of the way. Again, where I am right now is so windy that like hair up, I think it's just, it's just got to be. And also not brushing out the curl does give like a little bit of more like volume to your hair. Just tied that up in a ponytail and I'm not too worried about it being like super slick because what I do like to do is pull down little bits like this and I'm going to give them a curl but now that's up in a ponytail I'm just going to Give it a little back comb. Again, for some additional volume. Give it a little bit of a twist. And like, put it all around. Like this. Tie it up. Kind of does the like, perfect bun. And then I like to pull out, again, a few like, strands if they need a recurl give them a curl but i really want this to be like super like tousled effortless see like oh i just love it when it's like a slightly looser curl and it just looks like i don't know just super sexy and retro and guys this is super easy as well like technically you don't have to curl your whole hair but like I just wanted to do it just in case I do decide to take it down and then just curl these little bits at the side. Yeah, like this is the vibe. I feel like I'm gonna give this a little curl like that. How it was. Perfect. I feel like I'll tidy it up a little bit later once like my dress is on and stuff, but just using the Beauty Works Super Hold hairspray. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is a very like wedding guest appropriate hairstyle. Um, but right now, let's move on to the makeup. I'll make sure that I leave all of that um, hair stuff down below. And like I said, you can use code RACHBW for 15% off everything, including anything Molly May related. Right, for the makeup, I kind of want this to be more like really just beautiful skin focus. I feel like that's. That's the vibes when it comes to wedding guests, makeup. You just want 
something simple or well, actually you know what? do whatever you want but I feel like for this wedding and for like my outfits and stuff I just want beautiful skin kind of like minimal subtle sparkle on the eyes and just a gorgeous lash I'm just gonna give the skin a little bit of a clean right first things first you guys know I feel like this is also a great time to just wear like your favorite makeup and what you know just looks so good this is the super goop glow screen the wedding is low-key like outside and inside so i just want to make sure i got to my spf on and this one is just stunning stunning on its own stunning like under makeup i rave about it all the time you still haven't got it yet what you been doing girl i feel like this is low-key maybe even gone like a bit viral i have seen like some american and australian influencers promoting like super goop glow screen for the body and i'm just like when is that coming to the uk please because i need it immediately I've been using this a little bit lately this is the shiseido shiseido synchro skin soft blurring primer i am going to be doing my skin first like literally all my skin because the eye makeup is going to be really simple so i feel confident doing my skin first sorry i'm at like a really bizarre angle it's because above the bed behind me is like a really big mirror but it's like not really a mirror it's really like a warped like something that you'd get at a fun fair mirror so low-key quite scary but um it just was giving a really weird reflection in the camera so i've had to turn to the side slightly i do apologize but you know i'm in northern ireland and i know a lot of you guys um messaged me like all of these suggestions to do and i just wanted to be like guys i'm gonna have to like come here again clearly there's lots of like fun things to do according to you guys but i just i'm here for a wedding i'm here for one d although yesterday we went to the titanic thing in belfast but obviously i'm not in belfast anymore and what else did we do just walk down port rush that's what it's called don't know what I said earlier, Port Rush is where I am at. Um, oh, this, gorgeous for wedding guests, or even if you're a bride. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Very much giving Charlotte Tilbury, Hollywood, flawless filter type vibes. I'm just going to buff that in. Especially if it's a day with like loads of pictures. These kind of products underneath the skin are so good yeah guys i still haven't decided <laughs> my outfit one yeah like i said you can kind of see them behind one is blue and i think that's probably going to be the winner because slightly less dressy the only problem is is the way that it sits over my chest loki just makes me look the size of a house and that's not the vibe i want to go for at a wedding where I could be meeting people, you know? I don't know a lot of my cousin's friends, obviously, so like, who knows? They're obviously a bit older than me as well. <laughs> my mum was like, um, oh, me and dad are probably gonna come back before the end. Um, but if you find the love of your life, don't feel like you need to come back with us. I was like, man, <sighs> one can hope. Um, and oh, for foundation, I picked this up the other day, new from Hourglass, the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. That just to me says wedding vibes. Little goes a long way with this. Like you really don't need much at all. And I don't want much at all. And this is still my favorite foundation brush at the moment. The like unicorn one. It's just fluffy. It's like a, like a kabuki brush and a like beauty blender type sponge all in one and I think the key also if you, especially if you know you're having a lot of pictures taken is to maybe go for a foundation that is like maybe just like half a shade darker than your normal complexion and then use your concealer to like brighten up under your eyes and stuff. Just in a lot of flash photography, you can look completely washed out. That's the word I was trying to think, like what am I trying to say? Washed out. So having just like a little bit more color to your skin always looks so much better in pics. Yeah, I go in with that brush and then go in with this sponge, Chloe, Coco by Chloe Cosmetics, the best sponge. And I love that it's, um, 
black as well means that it just doesn't look completely hideous in my makeup bag. That just has such a beautiful finish to it. I feel like I really need a glass of Prosecco. I have to text my dad and say, excuse me, Simon, can you bring me up a glass? I'm so excited. I haven't been to a wedding in so long. I think the last wedding I went to was my other cousin, AKA the groom today is my cousin. His sister was the bride and that was the last wedding that I went to. I'm now going in with cream contour. This is the Holly Boone. Little again, goes a long way with this. Just a little bit. But guys, I am absolutely loving the Northern Irish accent. It's Nadine Coyle. I've been quoting Nadine Coyle this whole time. Like my family is sick of it. I just keep seeing bacon and stuff. You know, things with flour. Holly, these concealers, they are just so good and that was in the shade 5w which is actually the same color as my concealer but from a different brand like the one i'm going to be using under my eyes that's weird because they're absolutely not the same color stunning guys 20 minutes left right beauty crop i have just like sort of discovered this brand via tiktok and this concealer is so good like i said shade 5w but it's obviously absolutely not the same color as holly boone's 5w and using my other coco by or chloe coke i can't even speak coco by chloe cosmetics yeah coco cosmetics by chloe that's what i meant and i'll take this one up onto my eyes just a little bit of a primer for when we do the eyeshadow but how gorgeous is number one this color and two just like the finish of it it's really helped to obviously like brighten up the center of my face but nothing too like crazy oh my god there's like seagulls like flying towards the window and i'm not sure if you can get this anymore but this is the natasha denona concealer and this is in the shade 4n i just put like a tiny bit of this right underneath my eyes if this is still available i'll try and link it down below because if you have oily skin this is insane it's just like super matte like it literally like face tunes your face and you have to work quite quickly with it so if you have like oily skin this would obviously just blend like phenomenally into like your bare skin i'm just using it on top because i am extra but like you see that just for that extra brighten like that now we can move on to cream blush which i'm gonna use oh my god not a blush today guys can you believe it but i'm gonna mix the nars liquid orgasm and a little bit of the charlotte tilbury together i'm just gonna do this on the back of my hand it's the pink gasm we've got pink gasm and orgasm going on today guys so many gasms I'm gonna make sure I don't do too much. I feel like I've just put a lot on the back of my hand. And a little always goes a long way. Oh, this is such a nice color. Cause I wasn't sure like what I'm wearing. One of my dresses is like blue and the other one is khaki. I kind of wanted to keep like the blue tone pink blush. Oh my god, that's absolutely gorgeous, if I do say so myself. That is stunning. Look at that. Right, that's kind of all of the cream products done. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to take the Huda. And the fact that everyone's now on this like powder puff trend is really making me laugh. I've had this powder puff. And I feel like if you've watched my makeup tutorials, you'll know. Raved about it for ages and just how amazing it is at setting your face. Um, but right, I'm going to go ahead and just like set my face with powder. Huda Beauty Cupcake and my powder puff and I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and then I will come back because I need to like just focus on that for a second. Right, brows and skin set and one thing that I think after you go in with powder is so important, the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. So good, like it 
it's incredible i also love that as well as the what's it called um from it's the one from the beauty crop the like cherry one that does the same thing and it's so good i'm just gonna finish up the skin before we do the eyes real quick benefit hula i take this down my nose as well into the crease of my eyes like so obviously any wedding pics you need a shimmery bronzer this is my one with revolution it just oh adds such a like natural healthy glow to the skin i can't do any sort of like wedding-y vibe makeup without that and i'm gonna go back in with a blush and this is milani luminosa like is this not an oldie but goodie although i feel like mine's a bit shit <laughs> like it doesn't really show up maybe i'll go on with a different blush this is nars thrill definitely giving kylie vibes with this one that'll do like sorry and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of a highlighter this is i think it's an eyeshadow from nars called orgasm huh? that is not orgasm maybe it's orgasm highlighter uh, either way it's stunning and this is gonna go down the bridge of my nose just like all around like how pretty is that like really this doll beauty d uh, brush is so good at just like lightly dusting and that is the skin done i'm gonna go in again with the quarterly just because i can't get enough and it just makes sure everything just looks like skin on the skin you know right for eyes again it's going to be so simple and so quick i'm just going to go in with a bronzer this is mac dark tan mineralized skin finish i'm just going to take that on my morphe the morphe brushes just buff that in all over and then when you get to here just like do that motion like wing it out slightly But this is basically just going to be our entire like eyeshadow. I also take that down a little bit down on the bridge, like so. Then on a smaller brush, I actually think I'm going to go in. I'm using this LC Cosmetics, like the minimalist eyeshadow palette. Taking a lot, of the, a few of the colors from here. Just taking that medium brown, just slightly on the lash line I'm sort of like bringing like dragging that out this brush is really good it's like a flat fluffy brush it's from the unicorn like angel brush set I think it's where the face brush is from as well so I feel like once you get like comfortable with your face and how you like your makeup I can do it quickly that's why like when my dad was like okay you've got this amount of time I was like watch me I will do this I'm just gonna take that dark brown tiniest bit on this fluffy brush again this is a unicorn angel one just on the lash line really like wing it out like a teeny tiny bit but just so it sort of looks like that literally like that and that's pretty much the eyes done except i am gonna take the like white from this palette the cream just kind of in a corner it and maybe a tiny bit up on the inner part of the eye that's a really nice like white shade it's nothing too bright like so and then this is a tip that i really really love doing at the moment 
this is mac reflex pearl if you just take like a, a fluffy brush like this just dab it like so you get the tiniest bit like even take some off like in the lid then i'm just gonna spray the brush so it has a little bit of like adhesive to it and just dust it you know me i just love a little glitter dusting nothing crazy i don't know if you guys can see literally just like that and that's all i wanted really really subtle sparkle don't want anything like a cut crease or anything crazy but i am going to go ahead and put mascara and lashes on my camera saying it's a little bit hot so that's come at a good time and um, i am going to be wearing my my lash um it's just going to add the perfect just like flirty flare to this winged out look um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we can do lips okay annoyingly my lashes are like still drying but i've just lined my lips with morphe sweet tea and then i think i'm gonna go in with this rihanna fenty lipstick um mother lover i used to love this and just it's like such well for me anyway like the perfect nude Especially with that sweet tea. Do I want a glass? I feel like I will. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amber Sparkle. Stunning! And that is the makeup done. I'm just going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Glow. Hello? Give me like two secs. Right, that is the makeup. The makeup done. I feel like my dad needs to come in and use his bath uh, bedroom, so I'll just have to get dressed and ready downstairs. But yeah, now we've just gotta yeah get dressed, put the outfit on, and you guys can help me decide. Okay, guys, this is dress one. Is it giving bridesmaid? <sighs> I feel like it is, and I don't want to be too much. But this is from Miss Pat and it's stunning. Like the color is so nice. Just might be a little bit too much. It has like a leg slit and stuff. But I think I'll put outfit, I'll put on dress number two and you guys will be like, yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, I feel like this is just, looks a little bit too like bridesmaidsy, but I love it. And it might just be a little bit too much. Cause like I said, it is like a little bit more of a casual wedding. Okay, this is, I think the winner. This dress is, this is really ruining the vibe. This video is such a hot mess. This is um, ASOS. Um, I did have to get it slightly altered because the back isn't adjustable. Like the straps in the back weren't adjustable. I just feel like from the side, I'll just have to face this side and it'll look better. But I think this is just a little bit more low key. I'm gonna wear it with my, um, like my YSL bag that I've had for ages. I just like to wear this on special occasions, like weddings, wedding guest vibes. Sorry, I literally look like him. <laughs> like, literally, where am I right now? Um, I think I might just keep the gold hoops in, you know. I don't want to go, like, too, too much. I think this dress is, like, a statement in itself. Very gorgeous. I will link everything down below. Um, I feel like I'll film little bits at the wedding because this video has been in such a hot mess. But this is the vibe. I'm just gonna put some nude, like, shoes with it and stuff. Can you tell that we're all stressed? I'm trying to get ready, and I am holding everyone up. Um, but yeah, this is the final fit. I'll make sure my sister gets some full length fits of me when we're there, and I'll film little bits as well. Obviously, I've not even said that I was vlogging. Don't even know if they want me to, so I won't do too, too much, but just to show you the vibes and to round off this video because, yeah, I feel like it's been a hot mess. in fact the next day and this is how they're starting the day <laughs> a 
and that is the end of our wedding plans i guess activities um we're literally this is our last day we're just going out for dinner sorry i obviously couldn't quite get around to finishing the vlog on the actual wedding day because i couldn't see as all weddings should end but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry it was a little bit like chaotic but i hope you enjoyed the get ready with me make sure you make the most of that beauty works discount if you guys want to try any of the stuff yeah left the dress i'm guessing if it's still available i know i actually had to get the dress altered because it was out of stock and i i really wanted to wear the dress but i obviously couldn't order it in another side but i will leave it linked down below anyway um yeah we're just heading out for dinner now but i love you guys sorry i'm talking really quietly i have loki lost my voice but i love you and i'll see you in the next video bye guys